While other companies are busy doing flashy announcements about their newest models, NVIDIA silently released a very powerful model that nobody is talking about. The 9 billion parameter Nemotron Nano version 2. In this video, we'll take a closer look at this model, explore why it's different, what sets this model apart from the competition, and lastly, run some demos to see how good it is on the field. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's dive into it. Nemotron Nano version 2 is built to be lean and efficient. Instead of stacking dozens of heavy attention layers like Llama or Quen does, it only keeps a few and replaces the rest with Mamba 2 layers. These Mamba 2 layers are more efficient at handling long sequences, since they don't have the quadratic slowdown that attention layers normally create. And this difference really matters, because while models like Llama 3 or Quen 3 need tall stacks of attention layers to work, Nemotron can achieve similar or even sometimes better reasoning ability with far fewer attention layers overall. That means it's smaller in size, lighter on memory, and can run inference much faster. In practice, you can fit Nemotron on a more modest hardware and still get the output quality that rivals much bigger transformer-only models. That's what makes it stand out from all other models. And they also added a cool feature called Reasoning Budget Control. It lets you set a limit on how many tokens the model can spend on thinking during inference. And this is very useful because it gives you control over the trade-off between speed and depth. It's perfect if you want to keep latency low on certain machines. As for benchmarks, Nemotron Nano consistently matches or outperforms models like Quen3 on reasoning, math, and sometimes even coding. So let's try this model out for ourselves and see what it can do. The easiest way to do this would be to go to Nvidia's website and use their local chatbot. And to see if it's really good as advertised on the benchmarks, let's give it some sample prompts from the publicly available LLM logic test spreadsheet, which tracks how different models behave. I'll also leave a link to it in the description if you're interested to check it out. Let's try this three-legged llama question, which a lot of models with similar parameter count seems to get wrong. As you can see, Nemotron got it right. And also if we expand this window, we can see all the reasoning steps it took to get there. Let's try this question about David's brothers, which also a lot of models seem to fail at. And again, Nemotron gets it correct, so solid performance so far. Let's try a longer question about students and buses. So in this answer, Nemotron suggests having three buses, which is correct. It also gives alternative suggestions for four buses, but prioritizes three because of the optimization. So once again, this is a win for Nemotron. So far, it seems Nemotron is very solid at logic tests. But now let's see if it can actually code. So Nvidia's free chatbot only has a 2000 token limit. So for coding tasks, this won't be enough. So now we're going to deploy Nemotron on our own server and try it out there. Now, at the time of this filming, this model is still not available on Olama. The only way to grab it is from Hugging Face. So we're gonna grab it from there and run it through a library called VLLM. Here's how you can run any Hugging Face model with VLLM. If you don't have a beefy graphics card, the easiest option is to spin up a ready to use pod on runpod.io. Just pick a pod, I'll be using the A40 in this instance, find a template for the latest VLLM, and then press edit template. And here you can change the container start command. I will change it so it points to our Nemotron model that we want to deploy. And you can also set a few extra parameters if you need to. And here for Nemotron, I will set these parameters specifically. Then you need to drop in your Hugging Face API token, click deploy on demand, and run pod will handle the rest. It will download the model, set up the VLLM, and give you a working endpoint you can use. And now let's hook it up to a proper chat interface. We're gonna use a project called Next.js VLLM UI, and you can deploy this project with a simple one-liner Docker command. To hook it up to RunPod, just copy the HTTP service link, replace the VLLM URL in the command with that link, launch it, and you're good to go. And just like that, you're running a clean chat UI that's fully connected to your Hugging Face model on RunPod. So now let's ask Nemotron to solve the classic ball in a rotating hexagon challenge. If we run the prompt now, we will immediately see a lot of text being generated by Nemotron, and that's because this is the reasoning segment, 
which is usually confined between the think tags. But this particular Next.js app does not have that option to put them in that good looking thinking box. And since I'm running this on a slower pod, the execution of this prompt takes a lot longer than usual, but it finally produced the code for the Python project. We can see here that for some reason, one side of the hexagon is missing. And it's kind of strange, the ball starts idle, but then picks up speed as it goes. And I was so excited to see that first bounce, confirming that it actually got the mechanics correctly. But I was so disappointed when the ball went out of the bounds on the second collision. So overall, not great, not terrible, a solid first attempt, I would say. I then asked it to create a simple snake game in Python as well. And on its first try, it got the snake movements and the mechanics correct, but it couldn't get it to collide with the food boxes or increase its size. So once again, not quite there. So obviously it is no Claude code, but keep in mind, Nemotron is not specialized on coding alone. It was trained to be a general reasoning model. So the last thing I wanna try is the reasoning budget control. I used this example code from the model card to set up a thinking budget client. The first one was the three-legged llama question and Nemotron nailed it using only 78 tokens in total. Next, I tried the more challenging student bus problem and to my surprise, even that one was solved under the 500 token limit. These examples show an important point. Even with a very tight reasoning budget, Nemotron can still deliver correct answers on many of the tasks. This makes it an excellent fit for scenarios with limited resources or very strict latency requirements. So there you have it, NVIDIA's Nemotron version two. I really think this model is super impressive for its size and performance. And I think it's very underrated in my opinion. And I do believe this is just the beginning. NVIDIA already controls the hardware stack. And if they continue producing models that are this efficient and capable, they could really reshape the AI landscape and maybe even outpace many of the competitors. So what do you think about Nemotron? Have you tried it? Will you use it for your own projects? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, as always, if you enjoy these types of breakdowns, let us know by smashing that like button underneath the video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This has been Andres from BetterStack, and I will see you in the next videos.